That's right, it's the triumphant return of Office Hours with DJ Doc V. Good morning, Vaqueros. This is DJ Doc V. You're listening to Office Hours on Vaquero Radio, the Valley's student station. Thanks for tuning in this morning. That was a little ELP for you. Uh, we were listening to that transition, and it sounded like you thought you were going to get Michael Jackson, but you got ELP, so just so you know. Uh, glad to be back uh, uh, here on the air with you this morning. Uh, it's about 77 degrees here in the beautiful Rio Grande Valley on the Edinburgh campus of the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley, overcast skies. We're expecting a high of 89 today here in the valley uh, and some potential for rain this evening. We hope that it uh, holds off since our baseball team is going to be taking on Tarleton tonight. Uh, and it is a uh, pride night. Friends and family four packs in the Canes Challenge. So if you are in, uh, if you're present for the game, and the Vaqueros win, you'll get a coupon for a buy one get one free at Canes. So make sure you get out there to the baseball cheer our team on tonight. I'll be there tonight. Maybe I'll bring a couple of T-shirts with me, and uh, if you can find me in my UTRGV T-shirt, uh, maybe I'll give you one. So uh, hopefully you'll be able to get out there and uh, cheer on our our boys as they take on Tarleton tonight at the baseball stadium here on campus. Um, uh, it's a great time to be back, too. Uh, uh, there were several of us who were up in Fort Worth for the Texas Intercollegiate Press Association Conference, the 2023 conference. And boy, we came back with a whole bunch of awards, including the Director's Cup, which is the overall award for the school with the highest point total which included on-site as well as previously published competitions. Really proud of our uh, uh, staff that went up there. Uh, in fact, uh, your assistant station manager here at Vaquero Radio pulled down five first-place awards. That's bananas, yo. Uh, he's all over the place, so pretty exciting. Uh, but we're glad to be back here in the Rio Grande Valley playing some music for you this morning. Let's start off uh, the rest of Office Hours with a little bit of the weekend and call out my name on Vaquero Radio, the Valley's student station. A little Tori Amos there for you. Silent all these years. That was an in-studio recording at the studios of KCRW in Los Angeles, public radio station. Started off that uh, uh, at the beginning of that with a little poem from uh, Leonard Cohen uh, that introduced the Tori Amos song. She's on tour right now in Europe. Uh, just did a couple of dates in the uh, United Kingdom, Edinburgh, Scotland, Belfast, and Northern Ireland. Uh, she's uh, it was in Dublin uh, last uh, this week, earlier this week, and tonight in Liverpool, and then on to Cambridge and London, and then Brussels. Uh, she'll be in the United States later this this year, starting in June uh, through July. She'll have some uh, dates in the United States, but uh, nothing here in Texas. I don't know about that. I don't see that. That's disappointing. Uh, but uh, Tori Amos, and then before Tori Amos, uh, special dedication going out to my buddy Steve in Spokane. That was Ben Folds with the song Landed. A little deeper meaning there, personally, but I won't uh, go into too many details here. Started off that with The weekend and Call Out My Name. Um, thanks for tuning in, Vaqueros. It is Friday, March 31st, last day in March. It's April already. Uh, so... Make sure you are on your feet for tomorrow for April Fool's. People will be trying to put one over on you. Uh, we won't be trying to put one over on you tonight at the baseball stadium as the Vaqueros take on Tarleton tonight, the uh, Pride Evening and uh, Canes Challenge. So if the Vaqueros win tonight, those in attendance will receive a coupon for a buy one, get one free at Canes Chicken Fingers here in Edinburgh. So... Uh, make sure that you, if you're able to get down there tonight, uh, I'll be there. Uh, look for me. Uh, I'll probably be wandering around. If you see me in my UTRGV t-shirt, come and say hello. Uh, show me that you got the Radio FX app and Vaquero Radio on it, and maybe I'll give you a t-shirt. So uh, hopefully Vaqueros will win tonight, and we'll all be eating at Cane's tomorrow. Yeah, baby. All right. Uh, let's get back to the music. Here's a little journey for you. I heard this one on the way to work today. This is one of those uh, songs you can categorize as a driving fast music. Uh, you just want to put the pedal to the metal when you hear this one. It's really uh, conducive to driving at high speeds. This is Wheel in the Sky by Journey on Vaquero Radio, 
The Valley's Student Station. Semisonic with Across the Great Divide from Album of Same Name. That's American rock band formed in Minneapolis, 1995. Lead singer Dan Wilson and bass player John Munson of the uh, of the band Trip Shakespeare, uh, which I have uh, some personal uh, experience with. Uh, they uh, Trip Shakespeare. Uh, they lasted a couple, three records, and then uh, broke up. Uh, um, Matt Wilson, uh, the um, who was in Trip Shakespeare with his brother Dan. Uh, ended up going on to do some solo stuff, and Dan Wilson put together Semisonic. They're going to be on tour this summer with the Bare Naked Ladies, and in fact, they're going to be in Austin on June 26th at 7 p.m. at the Bass Concert Hall in Austin. Bare Naked Ladies uh, headlining Semisonic, and then Delamitri, another great uh, band, will be playing. That's, that'll be a great night. I think it's on a Monday, though, so I probably won't be able to uh, attend that one, but... Uh, if you're able to get up to see uh, Semisonic and the Bare Naked Ladies, should be really great with Delamitri on there as well. Uh, good morning, Vaqueros. DJ Doc V. You're listening to Office Hours. Thanks for tuning in. 78 degrees here in the beautiful Rio Grande Valley. We're looking for a high tonight of about 89, and hopefully the rain will not come down so that we can see our Vaqueros take on Tarleton tonight at the baseball stadium. Uh, as we do every week on Uh, on Vaquero Radio and on Office Hours. We've got This Day in History, and on March 31st, 1889, the Eiffel Tower is dedicated in Paris in a ceremony presided over by Gustave Eiffel, the tower's designer, and attended by French Prime Minister Pierre Terrard, a handful of other dignitaries and 200 construction workers. In 1889, to honor the centenary of the French Revolution, French government planned an international exposition and announced a design competition for a monument to be built on the Champ de Mont in central Paris. Out of more than 100 designs submitted, the Centennial Committee chose Eiffel's plan of an open lattice wrought iron tower that would reach almost 1,000 feet above Paris and be the world's tallest man-made structure. Eiffel, a noted bridge builder, was a master of metal construction and designed the framework of the Statue of Liberty that had recently been erected in New York Harbor. So that's this day in 1889. Also on this day, in 1959, the Dalai Lama, fleeing Chinese suppression of a national uprising in Tibet, crosses the border into India, where he is granted political asylum. In 1999, March 31st, the writing and directing sibling team of Lana and Lily Wachowski released their second film, the mind-blowing science fiction blockbuster, The Matrix. Uh, They were born and raised in Chicago, and they followed up with uh, two more Matrix movies, and then uh, more recently they did a fourth. Um, Was it Matrix uh, Restarted or something like that? I forget. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Matrix uh, series, personally, that's for sure. Uh, On this day in 1991, after 36 years in existence, the Warsaw Pact, The military alliance between the Soviet Union and its Eastern European satellites comes to an end. The action was yet another sign that the Soviet Union was losing control over its former allies and that the Cold War was about to come to an end with the dissolution of the Soviet Union soon after. And finally, on this day in 1776, Abigail Adams writes to her husband, John Adams, Uh, who would become our second president, urging him and the other members of the Continental Congress not to forget about the nation's women when fighting for America's independence from Britain. Britain. The uh, future first lady wrote in part, quote, I long to hear that you have declared an independency, and by the way, in the new code of laws, which I suppose it will be necessary for you to make, I desire you would remember the ladies and be more generous and favorable to them than your ancestors. Do not put such unlimited power into the hands of the husbands. Remember, all men would be tyrants if they could. If particular care and attention is not paid to the ladies, we are determined to foment a rebellion and will not hold ourselves bound by any laws in which we have no voice or representation. But that was 150 years before the House of Representatives voted to pass the 19th Amendment giving women the right to vote. Although, a great PBS documentary, I think it was a two-part series called The Vote, 
Uh, one historian mentioned in there, one of my favorite lines from this documentary, where she says, you know, they gave women the right to vote. Nobody gave us anything. We took it. That's right, with uh, activism, hardcore activism, uh, taking it to the streets, protests, civil disobedience, getting arrested, hunger strikes in prison. I mean, it was pretty hardcore, pretty hardcore uh, activism, that's for sure. And as an activist myself, I can really appreciate that. So let's get back to the music. We've got a great poem coming up for you at 50 minutes after the hour from the 2018 edition of Gallery Magazine. That'll be another student poem. Uh, we'll read that at about 50 minutes after the hour. But for now, let's get back to the music. How about a little Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars, uh, David Bowie and Space Oddity. There's some Elvin Bishop for your Friday morning, only on Vaquero Radio, the Valley's student station. It was a song called Fooled Around and Fell in Love, Elvin Bishop. Before that, you heard Depeche Mode. Uh, great tune with Enjoy the Silence. And we started that set off with David Bowie uh, in his uh, parallel uh, identity as Ziggy Stardust uh, with Space Oddity. Uh, one of the very first songs I learned to play on guitar. How about that? Who knew, right? That's something cool. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Office Hours. This is DJ Doc V with you for another few minutes. But don't uh, don't leave that dial. Don't turn that dial. Make sure you stay tuned at 11 a.m. for the Feminist Hour. DJ Morena Libre over at the Brownsville studio. We'll be playing some music, talking about issues. I'll probably want to make you be a feminist. So make sure you stay listening to Vaquero Radio. And hopefully uh, you'll be joining me tonight at the baseball game as our Vaqueros take on Tarleton at the baseball stadium here in Edinburgh. Uh, I'll be there. I'll be wearing my UTRGV t-shirt. C- come and find me. And uh, if you have the Radio FX app on your phone and you show me that you have va- uh, favorited Vaquero Radio, I'll give you a t-shirt. How about that? So uh, make sure that you uh, head out and cheer on our Vaqueros as they take on Tarleton tonight. As we do every week here on Office Hours, I've got a great poem picked out for you. This one is called Chingonas Write Poetry by Mayanin Rosa. Right? I know what that, we all know what that means. Right? That's why we're laughing here in the studio. Uh, from the 2018 Gallery Magazine, another great publication of UTRGV student media. I read about women through men. I am romanticized and demonized on the same page. Men are prolific. Women are boiled down to period poetry and the word sentimental. Anzaldua is turning in her grave and Warsan Shear spits on the ground. My idols call me to action. I need to write. Be nasty. Grossera chingona. Spill blood onto paper and embrace my brown skin so tightly no one will forget how bright, how hot my shooting star heart burns. I will bare my teeth, pen in hand, transcribe love, pain, and fire into words. I'll give those bestsellers, the white men, and their sexy cigarette poetry a good scare. That's a poem called Chingonas Write Poetry by Mayanin Rosa from the 2018 edition of Gallery Magazine, another great production of UTRGV student media. 1053 and 78 degrees here in the Edinburgh, uh, on the Edinburgh campus of the UTRGV here in South Texas. Thanks for tuning in. Got another few minutes with you, but again, stay tuned for the Feminist Hour coming up at the top of the hour. But for now, let's get back to the music. Here's the Fugees. Yeah, baby, with Killing Me Softly. Only on Vaquero Radio, the Valley's student station. 